<laughs> Olive Garden. I put my drink in here so it's easier to carry. Long floor. Shout to Jennifer and Heather. Yummy bread. So, we got your basic salad with some cheese. Oh, this is like a breath mint, but I can't eat it because I'm allergic to chocolate. We got some cheese, um, some lettuce. This is my favorite place to get Big Z. No shrimp. This is just the normal thigh cheese, Big Z. I love Big Z. And again, I'm a vegetarian, not a vegan. I eat cheese and dairy, but I sometimes, I try not to eat eggs unless it's in something, and it's very rare I do. Mm. And sometimes it's better than others. So let's see if this week, if it's good or bad. Cheesy. Mm. Okay, where's the cheese? It's supposed to be five cheeses. Where's all this? There's the cheese. And that's a little bit of tomato. Cheesy. Uh, okay. I definitely... Mm. It's like more cheesy when you get in like the middle. Mm. Mm. I love cheese. <laughs> I like cheese. And... Mm -hmm. Not enough for me. Mm -hmm. This is vegetarian. Not vegan. But vegetarian. I mean, if you don't eat meat, um, you eat cheese. This is a good one to get. Some of these noodles don't have enough cheese for me. Not all, just like the outside edges. If you prefer no cheese. Now if you're vegan, I wouldn't get this. This is definitely not a vegan friendly meal. But it is vegetarian friendly. And I don't know. I eat bread. I consider it vegetarian friendly. That's just me. Each vegetarian has like my friend says. And sometimes my even my cousin kind of gets annoyed. But they try to have a set of their own rules, really. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. They're the ones that do best with their bread. Mm. It's light and fluffy, which is what I like, and not hard and crunchy. I don't like hard and crunchy and like sometimes like the top of my mac and cheese and french fries but not my bread. Don't give me crunchy bread. Mm -hmm. But this is vegetarian friendly. Mm, there's no seafood, there's no chicken, there's no meat, but there is cheese. So, I mean, I wonder if you could get a foul cheese, I don't know. But I do like their baked ziti a lot. It's one of the few places. It's one of the places. It's my favorite place to get baked ziti. There are other places I've gotten it before and they're okay. But they're not like. That good. And I hate making it at home because it takes forever. Mm. 
Okay, let me get my fork. And I'll try some of the salad. And obviously I'm not trying the chocolate because you don't want to see that. Me and an allergic reaction ain't pretty. I mean, you barely saw, you almost saw one where I did the coolie. So, uh, a little bit smushed. Mm. This pepper looks like somebody, like, squashed it. Mm. So there's some peppers, some tomatoes, some onion, an olive. I might try the olive. I've never really had an olive. So I'm going to try this olive. And if I gag, I'm so sorry. Where should I take a bite? Mm -mm. Oh, 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 I'm gonna take a, ah, that is something, oh, that's nearest to you. Mm -mm. just no, no, oh, oh, <coughs> I don't want goals. Mm -mm. It could just be the texture or the taste, I'm not sure which, because I'm one of those people that I can't eat certain things, even if they're vegetarian, for texture, like, I can eat, hmm. Like, it depends. Like, if I tried, like, I've tried, like, a banana smoothie. It just can't have too much banana. I've tried banana ice cream where I made it from home, like, ice and, and it was too banana -y. But if I ate around the bananas, it wasn't too bad. Like, I just can't eat too much bananas. Okay. This is Olive Garden's salad dressing. Um, I'm not really sure what the dressing technically is. It just is Olive Garden's. Salad dressing, signature Italian. Maybe it's Italian dressing, I have no idea. And I just pour it on my salad. Pretty sure this dressing is vegetarian. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna be very upset. Really? I mean, the good thing about their salad is it's actually vegetarian. Some places don't have vegetarian salad, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Let's take a little bite of this purple thing. Mm. Not my favorite thing in the world, but it's not as bad as that olive. The aftertaste, I think, bothered me the most. The beginning wasn't too bad. Try taking a bite of this. Oh, no! <laughs> no, I didn't even... I, I can't tolerate super spicy food. I like salsa, but that's about it. And maybe, like, some Italian seasoning, but... Okay, it's a basic salad. Mm. I like it. It's not too bad. It's not my favorite salad on the planet. Let's see if the bread's still good. Let's see if it's still light and fluffy and warm. All it still is. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm-hmm. This bag is not for microwave use. To reheat breadsticks, preheat convent oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Place breadsticks wrapped in a bag for five minutes. Hmm. I've never done that. Some more big ZD. And in case you were wondering, yes, I get a lot of harassment from my family about being a vegetarian. My grandma not as bad as my dad's side, but she's like, finds it kind of annoying. Because she's like, what am I supposed to feed you? How am I supposed to feed you? Mm. 
and the vegetarian that I am, I do not eat seafood, which is like, um, fish, shrimp, um, octopus, anything like that. I also don't eat, uh, chicken, poetry. Vegetarians sometimes get fish, fish and chicken, two different types, because they don't consider them meat. And I don't eat those either. I eat mainly dairy, fruits, and sometimes eggs, but I try not to eat them. Which is harder than you would think. But also it might be harder for me to be a vegan because I can't have fake cheese or fake milk or anything that like has artificial flavors or colors. This is caramel color. Completely different. One time I got a soda that was supposed to have no food dye and have caramel color. So caramel color and food dye colors are different. Well, I hope you enjoyed my all green vegetarian review of my big ziti that I'm eating for dinner. Like I said, vegetarian friendly, not vegan friendly. I mean, you could maybe ask for about cheese, but I don't know if they would do it. I mean, you, I don't know if you guys would eat butter noodles. Vegans don't eat dairy, so I guess not, unless they have like special vegan butter. I have no idea. Well, have a great food review day.